Well, the church in Zimbabwe, first of all, there's been a lot of debate whether could the church engage in governance issues or it could be viewed as being political. And um, so we did uh, to shift our theology, to rethink on how do we live our faith in a context where people are suffering, where there are economic challenges, but in a context where we also felt that we could transform the way in which people are governed. And so the challenge has been the issue of how then government responds to what the church does. Uh, I will tell you that we have had our leaders arrested. We have had cases where some of them had to flee the country. Uh, you remember during Mkabe's era, it was very difficult for all of us. Um, and we, we, we campaigned and brought about a new constitution because there were so many repressive laws that made it difficult for the people to, to live an ordinary life in a democratic state. And uh, after the new constitution was brought in, we've been campaigning now for its realignment, but also we've been heavily campaigning for local communities to be allowed to govern themselves, influence how local authorities operate and influence leadership at that level.